the Goblin King sends his regards. Hi cadets, it's me, the spatula whatever. Um, Y'all might know me as the biggest David Bowie fan that there's ever been. I have all those David Bowies. Um, the album titled David Bowie. Okay, so I may have pissed some people off <laughs> just because I said David Bowie wasn't the best artist of all time. Okay, I may have implied that he only had one good song. You know, his famous Space Oddity song. And that was a flippant comment at the time, you know, because just because I like um, jokingly irritating people and having people jokingly fight back. But it may have um, upset people a little more than anticipated. No, I don't think anybody was actually super pissed or anything, but yeah, my comments were a little unfair. He's obviously wildly successful, and some people have been trying to get me to listen to more of his music so that I will appreciate more of his music. And I've tried. There's nothing wrong with it. It's definitely artistic. It's not like trite or passionless or, you know, some of that other garbage you hear on the radio. But for some reason, the melodies just never really clicked with me, and they still don't. But whatever, I can still see why people like David Bowie, and he has a whole lot of fans and made a whole lot of money and had a whole lot of success with his music. So he's ob he's objectively good, all right? I yield. But there's more to David Bowie than just music, right? So, so in honor of David Bowie today, we're going to go make a ship based on David Bowie, particularly because I want to make a Viper Mark III, which I've, I've always owned a Viper Mark III, but I've never actually used one. And everybody's like, oh, they're great low tier combat vessels. And I don't have engineering unlocked in this file yet. So we're gonna have to go with an unengineered Viper Mark III and see how it performs, but it should be fun to theme a ship off of an artist. So we're gonna go give that a shot. So I have to go all the way to Ivanishin Market. Hopefully they have the parts there as well to, you know, suit it up. Alrighty. I kind of already like the default paint job. Yeah, that's already looking pretty bowish. Um, bright ass lightning yellow, of course. And double, of course. Uh, no. I definitely think, eh, maybe, maybe that one. No, we're gonna go with the basic. Basic black with the yellow lightning bolt. We're gonna have to go ahead and spell it out, kids. It's a little off-center, isn't it? We need something to follow the E. But doom and it's Christmas, so why not? Well, it's the day after Christmas, but who cares? And whatever more bling we can shove into this thing, we'll do so. And we have to change the name right away. And of course, it's gonna be the Goblin King, because what else would it be, realistically? And the ship ID will be Bo13. <laughs> yes, we'll get rid of these garbage pulse lasers. Having no engineering is going to limit us quite a bit, but I think we can still build something here. I'm going to upgrade you to 3A. Got to have the best thrusters on this thing as I can since it's a Viper. Got to play to its strengths. Oh yeah, 3A. Those. Uh, I can't upgrade the damn distributors. That might be a problem. I can put a really good fuel scoop on it. I want bi-weaves on this guy. Definitely. There we go. This other three slot, I just, it's a military slot, it looks like. Um, I guess whole reinforcements? Yeah, I'm kind of making this, ooh, it comes with those? Get off my ship. Since I had room for a fuel scoop, I can probably put an SRV on here so I can do planetary style escapades. Like a true star man. A little bit of cargo in case some is needed. And a detailed surface scanner, so this can kind of double as a make-do exploration vessel and a make-do combat vessel, which is kind of cool. And finally, we of course need weapons, and given our power restraints here, we're going to probably have to go with the good old-fashioned... We're gonna have to go with the good old-fashioned multi-cannons. Alright, let's see if we can't do something in the Bowie here. 0.84 light years away from me is in a state of war. Well, isn't that handy? Let's do this. That B is kind of hard to see. <laughs> it says owie. <laughs> owie. <laughs> Let's hit the FFS, huh? The strangely inverted horizontal controls in my FFS. There. A million times better. There's conflict zones over there. I'll just go to one of those. 
Let's see if I remember how to do this shit. Asp Scout. That's how we do it. You're on a roll, Commander. I know. Like butter. Cargo scope retracted. A cutter, right, okay. Yeah, you want me to shoot a cutter. There's two cutters over here. It's a low intensity. Right. Viper will totally get in this way. Damn it. Imagine being a cutter running from a Viper, unengineered. There you guys go. That, that's how you make a David Bowie themed vessel. Got my money for that little adventure. While I'm here, let me see if they have better ones at this station. Oh, way better. Ooh, way better ship now. EG Union, who the hell are you? A dictatorship? What the fuck are you guys doing here? At least good thing you're not the controlling faction. All right, and that's how you make a David Bowie Goblin King um, style vessel, I guess. But you want to know an artist that really sucks? Queen. Don't even get me started on co Special thanks to those who make my videos possible. The Geist Recruits, Blood Butcher, Joe Osborne, M161518, Riz86, Slave, and Voxelbox. And the Geist Cadets, Mogbish, Robert G, Commander Brackus Lormain, Boham, and Trocads. And our epic wing commanders, Commander Roy Cookson, Commander Irish Love Circle, Glint Wine, and Ham Fisted. And of course, our staff captain, Dafted124. Until next time, cadets.